Hello and welcome back to the Italian Stories channel where today we're gonna look at the Scribbler Writer Box um, because it came in yesterday and I took a tiny peek just to see if they were only doing tissue paper for the um, the anniversary of Scribbler or if they were doing it for like forever. Um, there's new tape on the end here. Very cool. Um, but when we open it and look inside, it looks a lot nicer. So, ugh, getting this up here is really hard. Here we go. So, ugh, when you open it, there's a little, like, packet here. And this has all the paper information in it. Which I think is so cool that they, uh, I was really tempted to open it. But I didn't because there's a sticker on it. So, I can't open it right now. Um, so, I think that's really cool. And then the tissue paper is on top. And then when you take it off, everything is underneath there. And I want to make a wall with the um, scribbler tissue paper. Just I think that would be really cool for a background for some part of my office. Um, so that's really cool that they just put tissue paper on top. And then as soon as you get in, everything else is just kind of there. Um, so we have, I might eat this for breakfast. We have a... Kai's Life-Changing Bar Cookie Dough. It has eight ingredients, protein, dairy-free, and gluten-free. It looks really good, actually. I'm, I'm definitely going to try it. Um, it looks delicious. It's not very big. And then it has a little bit of, um, I don't know, a little leaflet here. Um, save 20% on your first order with this coupon code. And then, oh my god, this is so cool. I need to put this on my car immediately. It's like the baby on board, but rider on board. Maybe I can put it on my fridge, too. I don't have anything magnetic in here, but... I love that. It's like a it's a good quality magnet, too. Like, it's not bad at all. It's pretty good. Oh, of course. Like, I need another pencil case. Oh, it says the same thing on both sides. Amazing. I don't know how to explain what this is made out of. Like, you can kind of... I don't know. It's not really canvas, per se. Like, it reminds me of a potato sack, but, like... A lot of space in there. Am I gonna take two pencil cases with me everywhere I go now? Mm, probably, because I have another one. I don't think it's over here. I think it's over there. But it says, write, edit, repeat, something like that. Um, and then we have a reading is dreaming with your eyes open bookmark from Scribbler. How beautiful! Very, very colorful, and it's got like a little thing on the end here. And then it says Scribbler on the back. Very shiny. That was very cool. Um, and then we have a book here. The book this month is going to be... Um, it's called The Candy House by Jennifer Egan. Egan. The Beautiful Exploration. Oh! What's that? Cool. So it's called the Candy House, and what? Okay, I'm just gonna read this out loud, I guess, because I don't know what on earth this is. Uh, Bix Botan, a tech demigod on a first name basis with the world, invents a new technology. Own your own. Own. Your unconscious, which allows you to access every memory you've ever had and to share your own exchange for access to the memories of others. Bix has an idea that seduced multitudes, but not everyone. In the world of Egan's spectacular imagination, there are eluders who understand the price of taking bites, a bite of the candy house. Egan introduces her characters, music producers, hardest gamers... A citizen spy and an astonishing array of narrative styles and with extraordinary tenderness, compassion, and humor, intellectually dazzling, the candy house is also a moving testament to the tenacity and transcendence of human longing for connection, privacy, and love between spouses, between parents and children, and between siblings. Didn't really tell me, like, that much about it, but it sounds cool, and the cover is really pretty. Like, I'm really excited to put this on my shelf. Like, it looks really nice. Um, 
I think this is like one that I like actually want to read. And then there's a little book plate, a little signed card to put in it. And then we actually we have another book here with a scribbler little dot here. Um so we got two books this month. That's absolutely insane. Like all this stuff and then I got Two more books to put on my shelf. I just went to the bookstore yesterday, too, and I only bought two books and a, a couple other things. I'll probably share them with you guys, but a whole nother... And this one is... Usually, they're floppy. I've never gotten a hardcover book. Um, this one is called Indivisible. Um, I'm gonna have to open this little thing to find out what it's about. Um, Mateo Garcia and his younger sister, Sophie, have been taught to fear one word for as long as they can remember deportation. The worry that their undocumented immigrant parents could be sent back to Mexico always lingered in the back of their minds. Even though Ma and Pa have been in the United States for a long time, they have American-born children and they worked. they're hard workers and good neighbors. When Mateo returns from school one day to find that his parents have been taken by ICE, he realizes that his family's worst nightmare has become a reality. Unsure of who he can trust, Mateo withdraws from even his closest friends as he tries to keep his family together. With his parents' fate and his own future hanging in the balance, Mateo must figure out who he is and what he is capable of. Even as he's forced to question what it means to be an American, a son, a brother, and a friend, Daniel Aylman's Indivisible is a timely, moving debut, both powerful in its explorations of immigration to America and deeply Intimate in its portrait of a teen boy driven by his fierce, protective love for his family. Huh. That is interesting indeed. Um, and reading on here, each of these books, so this one is $18.99 normally, and this one is $17.99. So, that's already like 36, 36 or $37 right here. And I got a bunch of other stuff too, so I would definitely say this box is worth the money you spend on it because I think it cost me like 30 35 dollars something like that and I get all of the oh you know we didn't look at this yet the little packet because I didn't want to ruin the sticker I'm so scared I'm gonna rip it I just ripped it I just ripped it okay well we're just gonna rip it open then I guess okay we're just gonna let that be so the little thing it comes in you open it up and it just says scribbler and it's got this on the back uh, very pretty. Probably gonna keep it, along with the tissue paper, because I want to. Um, and then when you open it, all this informational stuff... Is it, are these bigger? Oh my god, I think these are bigger than they used to be! No way! Ooh, that's gonna be weird to put next to my other ones. Okay. Starting at the beginning here, so I don't get, you know, side Oh! They changed it. The card doesn't have little things on the back. Okay, so this is what the front of the card looks like. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to put that on the wall. I think I might put them over here. I need to bring the ones from the other room up in here. Um, okay, so this card now is just something like they're just talking about what the box is about. Um, 2023 is going to be filled with huge names. I don't get much bigger than this. Jennifer Egan and... I don't know what that word is. Carnegie Award recipient from Manhattan Beach, who's 11, 2011 bestseller, A Visit from the Goose God, won a Pulitzer Prize. Okay, some more just stuff. Skinny Houses are follow-up novel to the Goon Squad. Just released in paperback. As a bonus, we have a second book from a star in the making, Daniel Ellman. It's the kind of story that needs to be read, written by an immensely talented author. And the font on it is really pretty, too. Like, it looks really nice. I like it a lot. Okay, um, and then the, you can always edit a bad page, you can't edit a blank page, okay? Um, so the Scribbler Passports are a little bit wider, and I think these are about the same, but they're a little bit wider than they used to be, and the blue is really pretty. Um, this month we're talking about improvisation. I need to get all the other ones and, like, make videos on these things, because they're really cool, actually. So when we open it up, you get a word from Scribbler, just making sure it's all the same here. And then we get to learn about the author a little bit, some of her background, her career highlights, um, a quote from her, and then a conversation with her. 
Um, they kind of go back and forth with, like, questions and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of like, it seems like a script of what they talked about. Ooh, and there's a writing exercise at the back. I'll have to check last month to see if that's, um, hmm, if that's in the, you can, um, you can try doing this. I have to look at the other one and see if that's in there as well. Cool, cool, cool. And then we have a exclusive writer chat with uh, Sander, Sarah, Sarah Russo, uh, founder of Page One Media, a uh, boutique literacy, literary publicity and marketing firm. Tells you about her on the back. And then this is a publishing process inside look. I think these are a little bit smaller than they used to be. I'm not really entirely sure. And everything is here. We have a candy house, the passport, the chat, publishing process, this thing, another book, the writer on board, designer thing, and that's it. Okay. So this one is more about Jennifer Egan, the book she's written. Ooh, character map. Oh my god. It's in color. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in color. Look at this. So the character map is she wrote some information about the characters and stuff. And then she has a lot of like notes around them, who's doing what and what characters where. And then this is the original partial draft of rhyme scheme. I don't know. It has a lot of writing and stuff all over it, which is really cool to see where they take things out, change some notes, you know, do all kinds of, like, crazy stuff. This one's not as long as they usually are. Bonus content. Ooh. About Daniel Aylman. Um, and his query letter that he wrote. Cool. I, I'm really excited to um, get into all of these things. I can't wait to try this uh, bar for breakfast here. Uh, wow, what a big box <laughs> um, for this month. Last month was really good, too, because it was the anniversary of Scribbler, so you got an extra... I think you got, like, three cool little things instead of two. Um, and then this month, you got two books, which is... Let me look at this. Look at this. Look at this. this is, like, $40 in my hands right here. And this box didn't even cost me $40. So that is absolutely amazing. i really excited to see what this year brings for this brand. Because that is just crazy. What they've, you know, come up with so far. And what we have, you know, coming up and whatnot. I need to put this tag in here and put these on my bookshelf. Um, let me know what your favorite part of the box was. And if you want to get one for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. And I mean, I, I can't wait to see what the rest of this year brings with Scribbler. Because so far this year, they have done great. The first two boxes, or first three, were pretty good. Uh, or no, it was the first two, and then March, and then this is April. So, first two were normal, what they normally are, but the last two have been absolutely insane so i look forward to that and i will see you guys in the next video bye